Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. But the this morning hosts were said to have joined a separate line and were taken into a press gallery to film for Tuesday's installment of the ITV show. This morning bosses denied show hosts Holly and Philifad, VIP access and filed, past the Queen lying in state, as they filmed a segment for the program on Friday. Now. Mel has waded into the row as she asks Susanna Reid what it was like queuing for more than seven hours to view the Queen's coffin at Westminster Hall on Thursday. Susanna replied, It felt like a pilgrimage. It was an honor to be with all the other people in the queue. To which Mel savagely quipped, No queue jumping for you, seemingly referring to the controversy surrounding Philip and Holly allegedly skipping the queue. But Susanna stuck up for her fellow ITV presenters as she insisted. Some people had to work, but I was there with my mum. Speaking of meeting King Charles III, Mel also went against royal protocol as she kissed the then Prince of Wales. Reflecting on the moment, she said, I was younger, much younger. And being in that environment, it's so royal and posh. Me and Jerry thought we'd be fun. Now, I wouldn't do that if I met him. What the Queen did, she united us all together. I would be on my P's and Q's if I met them again. The singer also admitted that she felt honored to have been one of the last people to be awarded an MBE from the Queen before her death on September 8. She said, she took time out to be connected with the people. This is such an honor. It made me well up thinking about it. I was the last group of people to be honored by her and awarded an MBE. I got that this year for Women's Aid, my charity. I feel very honored and very overwhelmed. On Tuesday's Good Morning Britain, Susanna also wore dark blue to mark a transitionary moment after Queen Elizabeth's funeral on Monday. During the national period of mourning, broadcasters were wearing all black as a sign of respect, and after she was laid to rest at Windsor Castle, the GMB team have continued to wear dark colors. Explaining the decision on Tuesday's episode, Susanna said, It feels like a transitionary moment because the period of national mourning has come to an end. So we have transitioned into more somber outfits. Dark blue. The late monarch was buried alongside her late husband Prince Philip at the King George VI Memorial Chapel following her state funeral at Westminster Abbey. Susanna and her co-star Ben Shepherd fronted a special edition of GMB outside Westminster Abbey on the morning of the funeral, and she described her role as an honor. She added, It was like being an eyewitness to history, wasn't it? A real privileged position and it was an honor to be there with you, the viewers, yesterday morning and now the Queen has been laid to rest. Ben heaped praise on the Queen's company. 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards for the spellbinding work they did carrying Her Majesty's coffin. He said, those eight young men who shouldered the Queen's coffin all day. At no point did these young men make a mistake. It was just the most remarkable performance from them. To do it with the weight of the world on their shoulders, it was just spellbinding. On Monday, Susanna reflected on queuing for more than seven hours to see the late monarchs lying in state, describing it as a privilege. She reflected, it is an enormous privilege to have been able to do that, to spend time paying our last respects but also those hours in the queue as well. Coming to an end now. Susanna had revealed on Thursday that she had queued for more than seven hours to view the Queen's coffin on its first day being on public view at Westminster Hall. Mel B. Madé a savage swipe Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby of a claims they jumped the queue while the late Queen lay in state.
while fellow ITV presenter Susanna Reed waited for seven hours to view the monarch's coffin. The Spice Girl, 47, appeared on Tuesday's Good Morning Britain to speak about being awarded with an MBE from the late Queen Elizabeth II with hosts Susanna and Ben Shepherd. During her video call in, Mel, 47, made a dig at Philip, 60, and Holly, 41, over claims they jumped the five-mile-long queue of members of the public waiting to see the monarch's coffin. It was reported on Friday that the queue was closed for six hours of Friday, boosting the wait time to at least 14 hours, with members of the public and celebrities alike trying to join the queue.